You know, out of all the things that the NBA world could be focusing on right now, the last thing that I would expect us to be talking about so much is Carmelo Anthony. I mean, think about it. Think about all of the other stuff that's currently going on in the NBA. Jimmy Butler was just traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. The Los Angeles Lakers are finally winning games. The Celtics, not so much. There's so much other great and interesting things going on in the NBA. Yet once again, we find ourselves talking about some Carmelo Anthony drama. And why is it that every time Carmelo Anthony is in the news, it's never for anything good. It's always for the same exact reason. So of course, we just talked about Carmelo Anthony yesterday and how the Rockets and Carmelo Anthony are in talks about his future, his role with the team for the rest of the season moving forward. And most of us knew that when we heard that, it most likely meant that the Houston Rockets were kind of regretting adding Carmelo Anthony to their team. The possibility of them waving Carmelo Anthony was certainly there. And this was even more so confirmed yesterday as we got numerous reports coming out saying that it was only a matter of time before the Rockets waved Carmelo Anthony. And then even more reports coming out this morning saying that now Carmelo Anthony's teammates even believe that he's gone. This is despite the fact that the GM of the Houston Rockets had to come out publicly and address the situation yesterday. That's how out of hand it was getting. One of the reasons I'm here besides it's 10 games in about uh, is I think there's just a lot of unfair you know like rumors and everything going around about him. You know, we're struggling as a team and uh, it's my job it's coach's job to figure this things out but this thing out but we're from guy one to guy 15 and I'll put myself in there um, you know a lot of this is on me right now. He tried to take all the blame for everything that was going on with the team and said that it's not fair to put the blame on Carmelo Anthony which if you think about it it's kind of true because it's not Carmelo's fault that he's with the Rockets it's the GM's fault so technically I guess the GM is to blame here. But the melodrama doesn't even begin to end there as Dwayne Wade yesterday pretty much confirmed the fact that he believes that the Houston Rockets are about to get rid of Melo as he tweeted out his support for Melo yesterday saying trying to make my guy Carmelo Anthony the fall guy man y'all need to stop that's the easy way out instead of addressing the real problem and then former NBA player Steven Jackson took it about five six seven eight twenty steps further than that saying that the NBA and the teams of the league are trying to blackball Carmelo Anthony and a couple other players they trying to blackball Mel Melo why the season just starting why they coming up and saying your time with the team is almost up and the season's just starting you see what I'm saying they trying to blackball Melo and put him push him out the league and make sure it looks like he can't play no more or make sure it looks like every team he goes to, he's a problem or he's a cancer on the team in the locker room, which is so far from being true. I can name 50 people Melo better than right now in the NBA. I can name 50 people he's a better teammate than. So don't believe this narrative that they, they're trying to put out there that Melo is just a cancer and he can't play and he just make every team bad. That's BS. I'm telling y'all because I know it from experience. Remember I told y'all that they're trying to blackball Melo and that shit ain't cool at all. That's his theory, I suppose. And I guess it's it's a theory, but at the same time, it doesn't really make sense. See, you just can't come out and say that someone's being blackballed without giving an explanation for why they'd be getting blackballed in the first place. Because the huge question here is, what would the NBA or the teams or whoever is trying to blackball Carmelo Anthony gain from blackballing Carmelo Anthony? <laughs> no, let's, let's, look, let's look at this for a second here. Last year, with the Oklahoma City Thunder, Carmelo Anthony, he was the scapegoat. A lot of people blame Melo for the Thunder not being able to perform up to our expectations, mainly the fact that he laughed when he was asked to come off the bench. That was one of the reasons that the Thunder season didn't go as planned. And notice how I said one of the reasons. It wasn't the only reason, but it was for sure one of the reasons. So what do they do after a season of scapegoating Carmelo Anthony. They they let him go. They get rid of him, knowing that they become a better team because of it. And so far this season for the Oklahoma City Thunder, it is kind of hard to say because they've been without Russell Westbrook for about half their games. And not only that, but they're still missing Andre Roberson. But for the most part, outside of that 0-4 start that they got out to, I think it's safe to say that the Thunder have looked like a better team than when they had Melo last year. So I wouldn't necessarily say that the Thunder blackballed him by putting the blame on him is more of Carmelo Anthony was a problem so they got rid of him and now we come to the Houston Rockets a team that thought they could get the best out of Carmelo Anthony by convincing him to come off the bench they have Mike D'Antoni they have Chris Paul they have James Harden there's no way that Carmelo Anthony shouldn't be able to perform up to his standards this season so they bring him on the roster after he gets bought out by the Atlanta Hawks however to start off the season 
they're underperforming big time. And now they, just like the Oklahoma City Thunder did last year, believe that Carmelo Anthony is part of the problem. Once again, not the whole problem because Carmelo Anthony isn't the whole problem with the Houston Rockets, but he is part of it. I mean, the man is averaging 13 points per game on 40% shooting from the field and 30% shooting from three. That is terrible. Like that is terrible, terrible. And a funny stat that came out yesterday is the fact that Melo has more missed shots than rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks combined. And so far this season, in the 10 games that he's played, Carmelo Anthony has amounted a total of five assists. Five assists in 10 games played. The man is averaging half of an assist per game. Half. And keep in mind that Chris Paul is on this team too. And like Wade, he is one of Melo's closest friends in the league. If Chris Paul didn't think Melo was part of the problem, don't you think that he would have went to the ownership, went to the coaching, went to the management and let them know, yo, Melo ain't part of the problem. We just got some things to figure out. Let's keep Carmelo Anthony. Don't, don't you think he would have went to them and said that? Now, I know that Chris Paul was interviewed after the Rockets beat the Pacers yesterday, and he said this during that interview about Carmelo Anthony. Daryl obviously addressed the really Carmelo situation. What's the rumors about his situation? What's your feeling about how things played out here? Um, Melo has been great here. You know what I mean? That's that's like a brother to me. You know what I mean? So I don't know what's being said or whatnot, but Melo has been great, working hard every day. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. But I've said it before that I feel the media asking players questions like this is just completely pointless because what kind of answer did you expect to come out of Chris Paul's mouth? Do you expect him to actually put the blame on Carmelo Anthony in front of the media? That's not only his teammate, but one of his best friends. How is he going to do that? How is he actually supposed to say the truth? But what was really interesting about the Chris Paul interview was the second question that they asked him. As they then asked him whether or not he feels that Carmelo Anthony is a player that can help the Rockets win games this season. And this was his response. He can be part of helping put this team in the right direction. Man, Melo is a future Hall of Famer, you know what I mean? And that's that's me saying that, and that's knowing that. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. The man avoided the question completely. The question wasn't whether or not Chris Paul believes that Carmelo Anthony will end up in the Hall of Fame. It was whether or not Chris Paul thinks that Carmelo Anthony is a player that can help the Rockets win games. He didn't answer the question at all. He completely Euro step that question, leading me to believe that Chris Paul really doesn't think that Carmelo Anthony is a player that can help the Rockets win games because if he truly believed that, he wouldn't have had to sidestep that question. And like I said, if Chris Paul truly believed that Carmelo Anthony wasn't part of the problem, I would think that he would have enough pull in the organization to go to someone, management, coaching, owner let them know that Melo is good and we need to keep him but he hasn't done that either because they're looking to get rid of Carmelo Anthony I said it yesterday but why do you think that LeBron James didn't want Carmelo Anthony on the Cleveland Cavaliers we all thought that Phil Jackson was crazy outside of his mind when he was blaming Carmelo Anthony for the New York Knicks not being able to have success now granted Phil Jackson was a little off his rocker for the past couple of years he, I don't think he was all there because he's trying to force the Knicks to run that out dated triangle offense but to his credit you remember what happened at the beginning of last season when the Knicks no longer had Carmelo Anthony they were playing some of the best basketball that they played in years they were actually winning games until Chris Pops Porzingis tore his ACL so Phil was actually right about him being part of the problem in New York too. So yeah, I don't see how Carmelo Anthony's being blackballed whatsoever here. When it's been proven a couple of times already that if you have Carmelo Anthony on your team and then you take Carmelo Anthony off your team, you're going to win more games. Carmelo Anthony kind of got that Josh Smith effect going on right now. That is actually going to do it for today's video. Uh, there's no recap because I've noticed on my analytics for the past like a week or so, two weeks, that you guys tend to stop watching the videos as soon as I get to the recap part. Like 90 to 95% of you stop watching the videos as soon as I would get to the game recaps, meaning that no one really cares about the game recaps. So for now, I'm not sure if I should continue them, but let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Like I said though, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on more daily NBA discussions and videos. Thank you for watching though guys you guys already know that you are the real mvps but until tomorrow i am out of here peace